Hey guys, Brick Queen here. This is a really cool old set that I have. Um, I've had this set for years and I just now got around to uh, finding all the pieces and rebuilding it. Um, but this set came out in 2004 and uh, it only cost about $20 when it came out, which was a really good value for this set, um, in my opinion, because you get five really awesome figures. Um, the set is 4854. It's called Doc Ock's Bank Robbery and it has 176 pieces. So you really weren't buying uh, the set for the set so much as buying it for the figures, uh, but it was well worth it. And you can see this is the box sitting back here. And there's the back of the box. But let's go ahead and look at those minifigures. You can see you get Doc Ock, Spider-Man, and Aunt May. You also get a security guard and a police officer. So let's go ahead and look at Doc Ock first. Of course he does have uh, the arms on there. Um, now this Doc Ock only has one face. Uh, there were some of the other ones that were made around this time that did have two faces. Um, but this one only has the one face. Still a very awesome, very awesome figure. And then we have Spider-Man who came with a webbing piece here, which this webbing piece is actually a little bit too long for the set. Um, if you attach this uh, to the top of the bank, sitting in the back back there, um, and try to make him swing, he's actually just going to hit the ground because <laughs> the web is too long. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't uh, use this web on other sets or uh, build the set to make it higher or whatever you want to do. Um, so it was still a really great piece to include and a really great figure here. And there's the back. And here is Aunt May. And I may be wrong, but I'm thinking that this was the only set you could get Aunt May in. I guess I could be wrong about that. Um, but I'm thinking that this is the only one you could get her in. And then we have a security officer. It's hard to see his face. I'll we'll take his hat off. There's the face. And then we also have a highway patrolman or police officer here. So those are all of your minifigures. Um, like I said, you get really great figures in this set. Um, you also get two vehicles. You've got the police car right here. And there are stickers on this, by the way. That's a sticker and that. And then there, um, the number on the car is actually the set number. So if you find stickers with that set number, um, or with that number on it, that's probably going to be your set number. Um, on a lot of old sets, that they, they would do that. Um, now, not always. That's not always true. But on a lot of sets, they did do that. And then you also get this right here. So those are your two uh, police officer vehicles. Then you get this little gray piece with a tree or bush on there. Just kind of for decoration, which is nice. You know, they, they often put trees next to banks. Um, so here's the bank itself. I'll kind of adjust the camera a little bit. Um, there's also a, a web attached to the top here, as you can see, with the uh, radioactive spider attached to that. It's kind of just um, attached to the top of the bank up there. And there's the front of the bank. You can see this is the door in the middle here. And this, you can see there's like a handle here. Um, and it's kind of hard to pull this through, but you're supposed to be able to. Um, but actually, I guess you have to uh, kind of open it up to pull it through because of the hinge there. But on the box it shows, um, I think it's on the back. Yeah, on the back of the box it actually shows Doc Ock pulling that through. So uh, with the hinge, that's kind of hard to do. Actually, pretty much impossible. 
without breaking the bank. Um, so, I don't know, I guess that's a, a design flaw, or maybe that's a mistake on the box. Not sure. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's the bank, and this is the safe. And it opens up like that, and you've got, you know, cash stacked in there. And there's the front of the safe there. And here's the inside of the bank. You've got a little clock up there. So, pretty neat little set. Um, but like I said, really, I think most people just bought this for uh, the minifigures, and that's fine. Because like I said, the set only cost $20 when it first came out, which was really awesome. Uh, anyway, um, comment below and let me know what you guys think about this set. Um, and uh, if there's any other old sets you want me to review, um, let me know in the comments below. And if I have it, I will definitely try and rebuild it and get that review done for you. Um, but anyway, uh, please comment, like this video, favorite it, and please, please subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.